so let's take a look at what's inside this art bag. Okay, so this is my watercolor box. I prefer to buy my watercolor pigments in tubes. I bought an empty box and I took the tubes and arranged the pigments in the order I wanted them and the amount I wanted them. And then whenever I want to refill one of the containers, I just take out the little tube and squeeze it. And I'll show you what the tubes look like. So these are my watercolor paints and I keep them in this jar so they won't dry out. And the tubes look like this. And so whenever I want to refill one of these empty pans, I just squeeze some more out. When I'm going sketching, I generally bring three brushes. Um, I bring a larger filbert brush. A filbert has this kind of flat but round on the end shape. I bring one flat brush that's a little bit smaller. And I didn't choose this so much for the shape as the size. It lets me get in a few more little details than the larger brush does. And then I bring one tiny detail brush that I use for any really small bits of texture or other areas. And occasionally I bring a larger flat brush if I'm gonna be doing a big landscape. I just don't have it in here right now. I have a couple of pencils for sketching. And one of these is a finer, harder lead and one of these is a slightly thicker, softer lead. I usually only use this one if I'm gonna be doing something with a lot of shading. And generally I prefer to shade with paint if I'm doing watercolor. So this one doesn't get as much use if I'm painting, but I like to put it in anyway. This is a kneaded eraser. It's full of gunk because I've thrown it in my bag a lot and I take it when I'm doing uh, plein air painting or museum painting and sometimes it drops in the grass and so it's just collected a lot of gunk. But I like kneaded erasers because you can shape them into any um, size you want. You can squish them down to a fine point if you just want to erase something very tiny. And these are pretty cheap. I always bring a couple of paper towels with me. This is useful for um, dabbing my brush off if I get too much paint on it, or if I need for some reason to wipe down part of my painting, I can use that for this as well. And when I'm using this watercolor box, I bring a bottle of water with me in my bag. I take this also in case I get overheated but I don't just dip my paintbrush straight into the bottle. Usually I take it and pour a little bit of water in the cap. And then I pour that water into one of the empty spots here. And as I run out of water, I just refill it. This keeps the water in my bottle clean so I can keep drinking it because I live in Houston. And then when I finish painting, usually I take my paper towels and I just soak up any water that's left. And I travel with my paintbrushes inside the paint box just to keep them safe. And I put my pencils in here as well. And then I just close it up when I'm done and I put that back in my box. I have a watercolor sketchbook. Um, this is a pretty good brand. I got this at Jerry's Artorama. And the nice thing about these sketchbooks is that they are sealed on all sides so that the paper is stretched flat while you paint. It'll still bubble a little bit in the middle, but it stays pretty flat otherwise. So the other things in here, when I'm filming, I always bring a backup battery pack to keep my phone charging because I usually use my phone or a GoPro to record footage and the batteries tend to drain pretty quickly. So I use this and then I bring a cord to plug it into my phone and that just keeps my phone charging while I'm recording. 
I also have a mini tripod. It's very short and I like this one because it has squishy legs so I can basically maneuver it as I need to. The other part I have on here is a um, mount that will hold my GoPro or my phone and I don't have that on here right now because I'm actually recording with my phone at the moment and so the clamp is on another tripod that's holding up the phone right now. And then the other items I have in here right now are a ruler and some masking tape. I don't always remember to bring the ruler, but when I do, it's very handy for use in things like architecture or anything that has a lot of really straight edges. And then the masking tape is very useful. Occasionally I've had issues with my tripod kind of splaying open and I can use the masking tape to tape the legs however I want. And I can also use the masking tape on my watercolor paper if I want to just like tape off a certain area. The masking tape comes up without ripping the paper as long as I remove it gently after I'm done. The other option I have for painting, sometimes in museums, when I've gotten permission to paint, they're kind of hesitant about me bringing in a paint palette. Um, so I have started using these watercolor pencils. You've seen me use them in some of my other videos if you've been watching. And I have this little box left over from another kit that I bought and I just basically go through and choose which watercolor pencils I want and travel with those. And then this is a brush pen that comes apart. And I just fill this tube up with water and then put everything back together. And when I press on it, a few drops of water come out the end. And so it's a very clean way of painting and it works pretty well with watercolor pencils. This is the tote bag I use. It is pretty sturdy and it came with some oil paints that I bought a while ago. So anyway, that's what's in my art bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you carry in your art bag when you go out sketching or painting that I didn't cover that you find really useful, let me know. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.